everyone, welcome to my channel, Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali and I am determined to motivate you to declutter, simplify and organize your home one tiny and tidy step at a time. Today I wanted to share my morning routine with all of you. I'm huge on having routines and I find that having routines in place can really help maximize your time. So I'm currently on mat leave and have found that it's even more important that I have a routine now than when I'm working. I'm an elementary school teacher, so when I'm working, we already have routines in place. I have to be up and ready at a specific time, I have to get to school before the bell, then the entire day is very routine since we have schedules in place that we must follow and there's school bells and so on. But when I'm on mat leave, I'm free to use my time as I wish. And if I don't have routines in place, I will waste the entire day. When I had my first baby, I was so overwhelmed. I didn't even have routines in place and just tried to get through each day. With my second baby, I was a lot more at ease and kind of had a routine in place, but it wasn't as regimented as the one that I now have with my third child. This time around, I'm really trying to make the most of my time. I'm also busier than ever since I now have to take care of three kids. I also started Tiny and Tidy during this maternity leave and a small business called Little Ladu with a friend of mine. I'll link it down below if you'd like to see what that's all about. So if I want to be able to do all of these things, I really have to be aware of how I spend my time. So there's a bunch of things that I've done in order to maximize my time. But today I'm just going to be talking about my morning routine. But if you want to know some of my other productivity tips, make sure to check out this video. So to start off, I should mention that I am not a morning person and waking up has always been so hard for me to do. But when you have young kids, you really don't have a choice. They pretty much dictate when you wake up. So the routine that I'm sharing today is my ideal morning routine. It doesn't always work out this way because life is very unpredictable with little ones. One day, one will wake up in the middle of the night with a fever another day one will wet their bed um, then one has a nightmare and will crawl into bed with us um, and of course baby Josh will often demand milk at 4 a.m. Nevertheless, as crazy as our mornings can be, I still try my best to stick to a routine because it really helps things flow a lot better. Since I'm not a morning person, I decided to try out this Philips Wake Up Light. It has amazing reviews and I totally get why. If you're not familiar with it, basically what it does is it starts to gradually brighten up your room 30 minutes before you wanna wake up so that you wake up more naturally and not abruptly with an alarm. It also plays calming nature nature sounds as an alarm instead of a loud annoying sound. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. So I set the alarm for 5 a.m. So at 5.30 it starts to slowly brighten the room. Then the nature sounds start at 5 a.m. and gradually get louder, making it a lot easier for me to get out of bed. I'll then brush my teeth and wash my face. I have a morning skincare routine that I follow, but I'll leave that for another video or perhaps a blog post. Which by the way, if you haven't checked out my blog yet, make sure to do that. Tons of useful blog posts there that'll help you declutter, get more organized, and save time. Ideally, by this point, none of the kids have woken up, but like I said, you just never know. My husband Kieran will also be up at this point and he always makes me my Nespresso latte and leaves it on the counter for me. It starts to get cold before I even get a chance to drink it and I know that I could easily press the button and make it myself, but I won't. He has to make it for me or I will not have a latte that day. I don't know why, but it's just my thing. Maybe it's because service is my love language, who knows. And by the way, if you're not familiar with the love languages, I highly recommend that you read or listen to this book. It's so good, I'll link it down below. So anyway, since my latte is now cold, I'll stick it in the microwave and make it extra hot. I then transfer it to my Yeti so that I can take my time drinking it and it'll remain hot. By the way, if you don't have one of these yet, you need to get one in your life. I'll link it down below. I'll then choose an essential oil and start diffusing that. I'll also ask Google to play Indian yoga meditation music. I'll keep the lights off and enjoy my latte on the sofa and chat with Kieran. 
By now it's around 5.30 and if the kids are all still sleeping, I'll grab my headphones, another favorite of mine, and um, I'll link them down below, and I will meditate for 10 minutes using the Calm app. As a child, my parents always meditated at the temple. My dad does it twice a day, every day at home, and as kids, we were taught how to do it. Um, but I was too young to get it and never really liked it. And then when I had my first baby, Isha, I felt really anxious and my doctor recommended that I try meditation. Again, I tried just by using YouTube videos to guide me. This didn't work out very well and I gave up. Then a few months ago, my jaw started to feel really tight and I was grinding my teeth a lot. So I Googled it and learned that it, it might be caused by stress. So I knew I had to do something about it because I didn't want to start feeling anxious again. So I did some research online and came across two apps, Headspace and Calm. I quickly read some reviews and decided to try Calm. At first, I only got the free version. They then emailed me a 40% off coupon and I decided to sign up because with the free version, you're really limited. Anyway, I'm so glad that I've subscribed. It's really helping me guide my meditation practice. I can just do it at home and I don't have to go anywhere. They offer day-by-day -day classes that help you understand how to meditate, how to practice gratitude and so on. I highly recommend it. If the kids aren't up yet, I'll then do some social media like responding to comments or posts to my Instagram stories, go through my emails, etc. Once they're up, both Karen and I help them get dressed, brush their teeth, and give them a quick breakfast. There's also some drama or a fight that'll break out among the kids, but we try our best to remain calm and keep everyone moving along. The key is waking up before them and having that time to ourselves before we have to face the challenge of meeting the needs of all three kids at once. Kian and Anisha then head out the door with Kieran. He takes care of the morning drop-offs and I stay home with Josh. At this point, I'll play an audiobook out loud and feed Josh. He'll then start playing and while he's playing, I'll quickly make the beds and tidy up the condo, unload the dishwasher, etc. I'll then make my smoothie. I have a blog post about my smoothie freezer packs, so I'll link that below as well. I'll drink my smoothie while playing with Josh and listening to my audiobook. It's then time for his first nap, so I'll put him down and that's when I have an hour to an hour and a half to myself to shower and get some work done. Once he's up from his nap, we'll start whatever we have planned for that day, whether it's going out somewhere like the mall, library, or a play date, or a lot of the times we just spend the day at home playing and getting chores done. And there you have it guys, that's my current morning routine, which would obviously be very different if I was back at work so really it doesn't matter what your morning routine is everyone's will be different it's just important to have one if you want to make the most of your time and not have a chaotic morning before having kids I had a lot of chaotic mornings rushing into work skipping breakfast having to run out and grab lunch but now I just can't do that anymore because of my kids I had to change the way I was doing things and get more organized and implement strict routines Routines. Now I'm so glad that I did. I really wish I was more strict about routines before even having kids. It really helps to alleviate a lot of stress. So if you don't have a routine in place, create one and try it out. It won't be perfect right away. It'll take time and practice to get it right, but it's definitely worth the investment. Morning and night routines are not the only things I do to make the most of my time. I also have schedules, meal plans, and a lot of organization systems in place that help me stay on top of things. If you want to learn how to organize your home step by step, how to meal plan and create schedules and use your time more effectively, then make sure to sign up on the Clear the Clutter waitlist. The link is in the description box down below. Once the program launches, you will be notified and provided with more information. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button so that I'll know that you want to see more videos like this one. Also, follow me over on Facebook and Instagram because that's where I share daily tips and tricks all about organization, saving time, and simplifying your life. Next week, I'm going to be sharing my night routine, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with someone that you know would find it useful. And if you like this video, be sure to check out one of these ones. They're full of tips and tricks that will help you get more organized. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye!